All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. Max and Ellie Gady with their song called Butterfly. A great song, very harmonious with a great message there. So yeah, let's go. We don't need any capo for this song, but we need to learn four different chords. So let's start with those. We have first the B chord. So you need to bar the second fret here from the A string and down. So that means five strings. And the rest will be fourth here on the D string, fourth on G, and fourth on B. So there's your B chord. Then we move on here to the G sharp minor. So you need to bar all strings here on the fourth fret. And the rest will be six on the A string and six here on the D string. Then we take these two steps up here, so that means F sharp. You need to bar all strings on the second fret now. And the rest will be fourth on the A string, fourth on the D string, and third on the G string. And the final chord will be E. So open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. So those are the chord guys. So um, yeah, we had this uh, kind of beat into the song and it's based on certain chord progression. And that's the chord progression that uh, almost the whole song goes in. So let's start with that. The chord progression here for the intro and the verses and also, yeah, the choruses will be B to G sharp minor to E to B and then F sharp G sharp minor E and B. So pretty much the same two times, uh, it's just the first chord that switches because in the first round it will be B, G minor, uh, E and B, and on the second will be F sharp, G minor, E and B. So uh, yeah, pretty easy to remember. So for the intro and for the first verse there, uh, the sound and the beat goes like this. chord progression that I just mentioned. So you're actually just gonna hold the different chords here. Uh, so everything happens in the timing here and how you play the strings with your right hand. So let's start with the B chord. You're playing first the A string, then the D string, and then the G and B together. So. Then you go here to the G sharp minor. There you play the E string, then the A string, and then the G, uh, sorry, D, G, and B together. So you will use all strings except from the last E down here on the top string. So then the same when it comes to the E chord here, same string. So E first, then a and then D G B together. And then you land on the B again, and there you play as uh, as you did in on the first chord there. So that is the first round, and uh, really notice here the the kind of timing here, because we're not playing the exact same way. It will be. like this so so that's the first half of this uh, chord progression or melody if you want to call it uh, the next half second half here will be started on the F sharp so here you're gonna play E then A and then D and G together Then the 
G sharp minor will be in the same way. Actually, the rest of the chords here, the G sharp minor, the E and the B will be played in the same way as you played in the first round. So. the same kind of uh, timing and the same strings uh, are played here with your right hand so yeah I'm gonna play that slowly for you one round so you can follow so uh, let's go So the same tempo there and same timing. So dun 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 boom boom da boom boom da boom boom da. So that's the way you, this song goes in. So for the first verse there, you will do two rounds of this whole chord progression. So uh, yeah, two rounds, great. Then uh, we move on here to the chorus. And for the chorus there, it's actually the same chords based on the same chord progression there. And it will be two rounds of that. Um, yeah, plus one extra round in the end where they sing, and I keep on getting butterflies. And that extra round will be B, D sharp minor, E, and B. And that is played actually not with this this kind of uh, playing. Uh, it's just played with one downstroke for each chord. So the last half round, if you want to call that, the B, the G sharp minor, the E, and the B, just one downstroke. Yeah. Uh, but here. We will also learn this strumming pattern because in the chorus you can choose to play this melody or a strumming pattern. The strumming pattern will be based of course on the same chords uh, and I'm gonna show you how to strum this with the, yeah, the first uh, part of this chord progression. So the B, G sharp minor, E and B. Uh, I'm gonna play for you now so uh, yeah, listen. So and that will be repeated on the, the second half as well. So you play that in the same way. So for the first chord, the B in this case, it will be down, down, clap. So then you move on here to the G sharp minor. It will be down, down, clap, down. And then you repeat the same again with the E, down, down, clap. And the B, last B, will be down, down, clap, down. So pretty much the same as in the same kind of a feeling here in the song when you're playing the melody and when you're playing the strumming pattern here. So I'm gonna play that slowly for you, the whole chord progression, so you can be able to follow and really get the rhythm here from this song um, so yeah it becomes a part of you when you're playing the song so yeah let's go so down down clap down down clap down 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 clap down down, clap, down, B, mm -hmm. G, E, B. So that's the feeling and the rhythm in the song. Yeah. Then the second verse will be in the same way. Two rounds there. You can choose to play the melody or the strong pattern. The second chorus there as well. You can do two rounds, the melody or the strong pattern, and one round extra uh, where they sing, I keep on getting keep on getting so but this time 
you won't just do the first half uh, of the of the mm -hmm. uh, of the chord progression there, the B, the G sharp minor, E, and B, because you're gonna do with the full chord progression there. Uh, and this time you also strum or play the melody fully, not only just down strokes there. So you play it. Yeah, you can say for three whole rounds in the second course. Then comes this uh, bridge. And it starts there when they sing, when you walk into the room, I'm as nervous as the day I met you. Very cute, yeah. So the chords there will be F sharp to uh, the C to the B. And I actually forgot to to uh, learn uh, yeah to to no sorry uh, no sorry I, I was wrong there for f sharp uh, to e to b yeah f sharp e and b so yeah f sharp e and b and that will be for three rounds and on the final round there it will be e and f sharp so f sharp e B, F sharp, E, B, F sharp, E, B, then E, and F sharp. Okay, so how do we play this? Yeah, we're gonna do for the F sharp, we're gonna do the down, down, clap, down, clap. So it will be. Okay, so down, down, clap, down, down, clap, E, clap, B. Three rounds of that. And uh, when you do the extra there, after the three rounds, when you do the E, you're gonna play it with like you did on the F sharp. You're gonna play down, down, clap, down, down, clap. And the same in the F sharp. Down, down, clap, down, down, clap. Yeah. Then we are at the third chorus, and that is played in the same way. You're gonna do three rounds of that one, and the song ends with the second half of the strumming. Uh, uh, sorry, the chord progression there: the F sharp, the D sharp minor, the E, and the B, played with strumming or with melody, and that pretty much ends this song, guys. I hope you enjoy this one and uh, if you did please leave a comment, thumb up, be a subscriber. I really appreciate all you subscribers that uh, follow me on this journey and uh, I believe I will be better and better in this. Uh, sometimes I make some mistakes like I did right now in the, in the bridge there. Uh, but sometimes yeah it gets a little bit blurry with all talking and playing. So. But I believe uh, I can do better and better uh, with your help. So let me know what I can do better and I will be open to all critique there. Don't forget guys, play tuned.